Well, let's go into something which is more understandable, which is the data released over the European session. OK, well, um, I've decided to look at a couple of uh, key points from uh, from Spain today. So first of all, we had the flash or like, preliminary GDP growth rates uh, quarter on quarter, so for the second quarter over the first. And that came in at uh, plus one percent as bang in line uh, with a forecast of plus one percent and a small increment to the prior read of plus 0.9 percent and the trend in this in this number is, to, is that it's continuing to trend higher from the 2013 lows but no sooner have we digested that than we had the, uh, the the harmonized index of consumer prices this is the ecb's preferred measure of inflation across Europe. This is again the Spanish number. Uh, this is for July. On a year-on-year -year basis, I'm looking at this now, minus 0.1%. Um, the forecast was for it to be flat at 0.0% and indeed the prior read was exactly the same. The concern here is that it came in negative. It's dipping back to deflation after two flat reads and this number has been trending lower uh, since November 13. So on the one hand, we've got you know an improving uh, GDP economic growth story and on the other hand we've got uh, the the inability of the economy to generate inflation and the, well, and it's, the concern it's, that it's dipping uh, back into deflation so it's a good combination of growth without in, without rising prices what else do you want well you, you do need you do need some some inflation to, to, to drive asset values and to, and, to, and to get everybody to feel a bit better off but uh, we'll see it's one number but it's still going to be a cause for concern and then uh, moving over uh, to Germany we had uh, the German unemployment rate of change. Um, so, sorry, first of all, the unemployment change for July. Uh, so, 9,000 uh, more people were unemployed in July than they were in June. Uh, the forecast had been for a dip in uh, uh, unemployment by 5,000 jobs versus the prior read of a, a gain of 1,000. So, it's a bit of a mixed picture as far as German unemployment is concerned. That those numbers are not big enough to actually make a, a great or any real difference to the unemployment rate, which actually came in at 6.4% um, against the forecast of the same number. But the truth is that uh, that rate stayed flat. It hasn't gone sideways, flatlining, if you like, since March. And I don't suppose um, the Germans will want to see, you know, too many more months where we actually see even a small rise in the actual number of new uh, unemployed claimants. Uh, okay, cause, so possible cause for concern there as well. Right.